वेलकम टू माई चैनल पावर ऑफ पावर पॉइंट बाय श्रुति शर्मा इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू फाइव सुपर यूजफुल टाइम सेविंग पावर पॉइंट ट्रिक्स दैट कैन हेल्प यू मेक बेटर प्रेजेंटेशन दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ द वीडियो सीरीज दैट आई एम डूइंग सो इन केस यू हैव नॉट सीन द पार्ट वन द लिंक इज गोइंग टू बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स बिगिन सो द फर्स्ट ट्रिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू टूडे इज अनग्रुप आइकन्स This is one trick that I came across very recently and it has helped me a lot in corporate presentations especially. I hope that all of you know that we have inbuilt icons in PowerPoint now. So we don't need to download all the icons from Google, right? For each category you will see a variety of icons that we have now. So I'm going to take two or three icons as example to show you how to ungroup them and use them. So the first one I'm taking is in the category analytics. And the second will be like a cycle. Yes, a process this one. So it's like a step by step process that is almost like a cycle. And the third is a flow chart that you see on the left hand side. So now if I want to ungroup these icon I'll right click and click on convert to shape the moment I do that you can see that all these different shapes are separated now right so they have been ungrouped and now you can treat them as separate shapes if you want to put separate colors in them you can do that if you want to put separate animations on them you can do that as well because if it's a step by step process that is like a cycle and i want to give a different color to each pointer and use a different animation because i want to first talk about the first pointer i want the animation to come then i will talk about the second pointer then the animation will come and then the third one so you could not do that if the items are not ungrouped so in order to do that always use this feature you can right click and click on convert to shape So now if you see I have already added animation on the first pointer I'm using animation painter to copy the animation in the rest of the pointers Now I just need to decide the direction of the animation So animation is one thing that I'm going to cover in my future videos so I'm not getting deep into that And I'm done Moving on to the second icon, right click convert to shape and again now I have four separate units. I'm going to give a different color to each one because I want to show separate elements and we will of course give separate animation to each one of them as well. So I'm taking a very basic wipe animation. and i'll use the same one for all the four shapes and i'm almost done now moving on to the last shape right click then what to shape So I'm not doing much because now we have understood the overall concept but you can see that how it has become a separate unit. Now let's see how it goes. Point 1, point 2, point 3 perfect. And I can do the same with my flow chart. How easy was that? So the second trick that we are going to learn today is how to insert a video without downloading it. These days we try to make our presentation more effective and engaging, right? For which you can add gifs, you can add animation and videos. Now let's see how to do that. Click on insert, go to video and rather than going to this device go to online videos. So PowerPoint itself can fetch the video for you. So all these medium that you see it can fetch a video from any of these. I'm choosing this video particular YouTube video that I want to insert. I'll copy the link and just paste it here. And just click on insert. It will take a few seconds, much lesser than the time that you take to download the video and just click on insert and within few seconds your video will automatically appear on the slide 
So right now you can see it's a little blurred, but the moment you play it, it will play perfectly. Right? So now you can get rid of using all those save from net, YouTube downloader and all those websites and directly download from PowerPoint itself. How, how cool is that? Moving on to the third hack. How to use scribble pen and eyedropper together to create some magic. So you know there are times when you download pictures or JPEGs and you want to use a certain space for writing but it already has something written and you cannot use it. So there's a very simple hack that I'm going to show you. It works on plain surfaces. So for example, if I want to use this superhero theme in white for my save the date, but obviously there's a lot of content here, right? Use scribble pen that you see in shapes. It's, it basically turns your cursor into a pen and you can now mark the area that you want to hide. So I'm going to zoom in a little and start marking the area. Just use it like a pen, all right? Yeah, I'm going to cover all the text and now I'm going to go to eyedropper and use the background yellow that you see and without any outline and I have a plain canvas to play with I can write my own content here in case you want to know more about eyedropper there's a separate video that I have made on eyedropper you can see it in the description box the link is there now if I want to use these kind of slides from my thank you welcome hi or any sort of content. Again, eyedropper is the tool for you. Eyedropper and scribble pen. So I'm going to go to scribble pen for any content which is not in straight lines or which cannot be hidden by shapes, all right? So I'm going to cover this thank you using a scribble pen. Go to shape fill, eyedropper and choose the background color. Get rid of the outline and you have available canvas to write on. This is the text that I'm going to use. And it's as simple as that. For the other picture, since it's not really a complicated area, I'm just going to use a circular shape because I know that can cover it. Using eyedropper, get rid of the outline and we're good to go. I'll just copy the text quickly. So instead of just doing regular welcome slides, which are, you know, you done to death, you could use something like this. Now let's come to the next example. You know, even if you do not want to create an infographic yourself because of lack of time, you can download one and use this using your own content. So I'm going to use again scribble pen to hide the content that you can see on all the four pointers. Choose a relevant infographic first of all, of course, and then you can start using this feature to put your own text over the infographic. So I'm going to use the same thing on all the boxes. You can use shapes also. In that case, you have to use two separate shapes, one for the content that you see here and one to cover the icon basically. I'm going to do the same thing on all four boxes that you see. I'm going to hide the center circular text as well because I'll keep my headline or my main content there. And I'm done with all the boxes. Now moving on to the center part, I'm going to use a regular circular shape since it's easily going to cover all the content and we are good to go. Now I have this infographic which is ready made. You can keep it saved and use it whenever you want to. And like that you can download many more infographics that you think can work for you using this simple feature. If you don't think that you have time to create or if you are not as well versed with PowerPoint, this is one easy and simple hack. Look how easy was that, right? You know there are times when your boss does not like the font that you have used in the presentation and you have to change the entire font or maybe 
the font has come from the brand and now you have to make sure that all the slides have that font. There is one simple command that you can use to change font in your entire presentation rather than doing it slide by slide. So that's something that we're going to learn today. So let's assume that this is the font that I want to change. So right now on the right hand side I have Century Gothic, on the left hand side it's Arial. So how you use replace to replace words? Instead of that, go to replace fonts. Click on the arrow and go to replace fonts. Now choose the font that you want to replace with. So choose the font that you want to replace and at the bottom choose the font that you want to replace it with. So for example, I've used rural right now. I want to change Arial to rural and it has happened on the left hand side as you can see. Now, I want to make this also Century Gothic so that I can show you how to use the entire font now for the whole slide. So I'm quickly going to go to Century Gothic. So now all the font that you see here is Century Gothic, right? And now again I'm going to go on top, replace fonts. I'll replace Century Gothic with another font. Let's take a thematic one like a 28 days later and click on replace and it has happened. And this does not happen only on one slide but it happens in the entire presentation in just one simple command. It's as simple as that. You know so far all the tools that we learned were about how to make a more effective presentation or how to save time while making a presentation. But did you know PowerPoint offers a lot of tools that you can use even while presenting to have maximum impact on the audience. So today I'm going to show you a few of those tools. So for example, if you are showing a complicated or a complex drawing like this, you can actually use the zoom feature to go and zoom on a certain part. If the text is small or if a picture is complex, left hand bottom side, click on the zoom lens and just click on the part that you want to zoom. I'm showing you once again. Click on the zoom lens, click on the part and you can see each and every detail. So that's very useful. Now moving on to the second part, using pen. Now you, did you know that you can actually use pen and this whole PowerPoint will become a canvas for you now, this slide. If you want to highlight a certain number, if you want to even tell changes to the person, you can write those changes here. And you, your cursor basically becomes a pen. If you want to highlight certain things while presenting, all these tools will help you make more effective presentation basically not just to design but also how to make a good presentation when you are giving it to an audience you can write anything you can choose to keep this data or discard that is also a choice that you're given i'm going to show it to you as well Next is laser pointer. If you want to point towards a certain part when you're showing, if you want to point towards certain numbers, a lot of people use physical laser pointer, but you could use this also. You can cho choose the color of the laser pointer that you want. You can choose the color of the pen that you want. Red is just one color that I've taken. You can use a green color. You can take blue or any color that you want to. If you want to actually do different changes from different colors, you could do that as well. Now, you know, the moment I go back, it gives me an option of choosing to keep this or discard it. If I want to keep it, I can just click on keep. As simple as that. Now, just one last bonus tip before I sign off. You know, there are times when you're presenting any presentation and suddenly there's a lot of noise in the audience. You just need to click B for the screen to go blank. It will automatically catch attention of everybody. Click B for blank. It's as simple as that. And to get it back again, you can click B while presenting. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this one, please like, share and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to watch my other videos to learn more about PowerPoint. If there's any particular topic that you want me to cover, you can write in the comment box and I'll surely make a video on that one as well. Thank you so much.